Hello our mighty Saurus and Sara. It is a nice day to learn about fossils, dinosaurs, and other prehistoric creatures, isn't it? When it comes to turtles, many of us might think of slow, harmless animals that aren't particularly exciting, although there are some large species, such as the leatherback turtle, the largest turtle today, which can reach up to 3 meters in length and weigh nearly 1 ton. However, it's important to know that the species we commonly refer to as turtles belong to the order Testudines, and they have a very illustrious history. Appearing in the late Jurassic, the lineage of turtles coexisted with some of the greatest creatures of the dinosaur age, from plesiosaurs like Plesiosaurus and Elasmosaurus, to marine reptiles like Mosasaurus and Prognathodon, and even dinosaurs like T. rex. While most of these species went extinct, turtles are among the groups that survived the dark times at the end of the Cretaceous and continue to exist today, playing an important role in every ecosystems they inhabit on Earth. Throughout this journey, the lineage of turtles also saw the emergence of some great species, which, although not as attention-grabbing as other super reptiles like dinosaurs, marine reptiles, or pterosaurs, still leave anyone in awe when looking at their fossils today, thanks to their size and timeless beauty. Today, let's join us to take a look at the five largest turtles that lived alongside dinosaurs and perhaps even the largest in Earth's history. Are you ready? Let's get started! Number 1. Gigantotypus Gigantotypus is an ancient sea turtle that lived during the Maastrichtian stage of the late Cretaceous, approximately 72 to 66 million years ago. Its habitat was in the southern region of the ancient Tethys Ocean. Fossils of this turtle have so far only been found in sedimentary layers in Jordan, a country in the Middle East. They are believed to be related to modern hawksbill turtles rather than the protostegidae family, which includes other giant ancient turtles. Although fossils of Gigantotypus are scarce, based on what has been found, including a very large forelimb bone, paleontologists estimate that this turtle was at least about 3.5 meters long, nearly the size of a small car and possibly even larger making it one of the largest sea turtles to have ever swum in the ocean. However, it seems they did not survive the Cretaceous-Paleogene extinction event, sharing the same fate as dinosaurs, pterosaurs, marine reptiles, and many other giant ancient animals. Only smaller turtle species had the chance to survive and pass on their lineage to the present day. Not much is known about the appearance of Gigantotypus other than its enormous size, and hopefully, future fossil discoveries will help us unlock the secrets of this supersized turtle. Number 2. Craticellone Compared to Gigantotypus, Craticellone is a much older turtle species, dating back to about 100 million years ago during the Albion stage of the early Cretaceous. Its fossils were found in northern Queensland, Australia. Craticellone has so far been identified from a single fossil, consisting of incomplete parts of the body skeleton preserved in a rough, dark sedimentary rock. The findings include the left plastron, shoulder girdle, and some forelimb parts. These were described and named by scientist Herbert Longman in 1915, and today, the fossils are displayed in the Paleontology Collection at the Queensland Museum in Brisbane, Australia. Craticellone is one of three ancient sea turtle species from the Protostegidae family found in Australia, and it is the largest among them, with an estimated length of up to 4 meters, although there is still some doubt. If it reached this length, its weight could be up to 3 tons, nearly equivalent to an adult female Asian elephant. Like Gigantotypus, more fossil discoveries are needed to learn more about the appearance, lifestyle, and behavior of this oversized ancient turtle. Number 3. Protostega 
Protostegidae is an extinct family of sea turtles that includes some of the largest turtles ever known. They lived alongside dinosaurs and went extinct with them 66 million years ago. To get a general idea of the appearance of Protostegidae sea turtles, you can look at the turtles appearing on the beach in the Coast episode of the documentary series Prehistoric Planet on Apple TV+. Although it's unclear which specific species from the Protostegidae family they represent. As the type genus of this family, Protostega was a massive creature. Compared to Gigantatopus and Craticellone, the number of Protostega fossils found is more abundant and complete, discovered in various locations such as Kansas and Alabama in the USA and Saratov Oblast in Russia, dating back to about 83.5 million years ago. It was described and named by the renowned American paleontologist Edward Drinker Cope in 1872. Based on these fossils, paleontologists estimate that Protostega was between 3 to 3.9 meters long and could weigh around 2 to 3 tons. The shell of Protostega, like other members of its family, was not a thick bony shell like most other turtles, but a thick skin with supporting bones. This helped reduce weight, and when combined with powerful flippers, Protostega became an excellent, enduring long-distance swimmer. They had large heads, sharp beaks, and strong jaws, capable of eating slow-moving marine creatures like jellyfish, shellfish, and floating carcasses. However, evidence such as shark teeth found in Protostega bones suggests that this giant turtle was also preyed upon by other predators. Researchers also believe that Protostega was a migratory species, often swimming hundreds of miles to coastal areas to lay eggs. They laid dozens of eggs at a time, a simple strategy to increase the number of young that survived to adulthood. Number 4. Leviathanocheles Leviathanocheles is the most recently announced giant sea turtle species in 2022. It is known as the largest ancient sea turtle in Europe, dating back to the Campanian stage, approximately 83.6 to 72.1 million years ago. Before Leviathanocheles, the largest ancient sea turtles in the fossil record were only about 1.5 meters long, so the discovery of this species has significantly upgraded the stature of ancient European turtles. Discovered by a hiker in 2016, the fossils of Leviathanocheles include the posterior part of the shell and pelvis, which, although incomplete, were enough for scientists to determine that it belonged to a giant turtle, comparable to the largest turtles in the world at that time. Classified in the superfamily Chiloneoidea, Leviathanocheles is relatively closely related to modern sea turtles rather than the giant sea turtle family Protostegidae. However, it shares many similarities with Archelon, a giant turtle from the Protostegidae family, suggesting that both may have had similar lifestyles, possibly living near the ocean surface. Based on the fossils found, Researchers estimate that Leviathanocheles could reach a length of about 3.74 meters or even larger. However, more fossils are needed to confirm these estimates. Number 1. Archelon And finally, the name that no one can overlook when mentioning the supersized, gigantic turtles that have ever existed in Earth's history, Archelon, the largest turtle in history that we have ever known, unless in the future. We can unearth fossils of an even larger turtle. The type specimen of Archelon was found by paleontologist George Reber Wieland at the Cheyenne River in South Dakota in 1895, and Wieland himself described the specimen, a nearly complete skeleton missing only the skull. He named it with the full binomial nomenclature Archelon Iskiros, meaning Mighty Ancient Turtle. Wieland also identified Archelon as a member of the giant ancient turtle family Protostegidae, established in 1873 with the type genus Protostega that we just mentioned. Subsequent specimens discovered have given us a fuller picture of this turtle, including a skull up to one meter long with a sharp, long and curved beak, 
quite similar to the beaks of predatory birds, but different from modern sea turtles, and a characteristic of the protostegidae family. Another feature is the shell made of a thick layer of skin supported by a bony framework. The type specimen of Archelon is about 3.5 meters long, but the largest specimen, named Brigida, is up to 4.6 meters long, officially confirming Archelon's reign as the largest turtle in the lineage. The average weight of this turtle is estimated to be between 2.2 to 3.2 tons. Archelon lived about 80.5 million years ago, during the late Cretaceous in a shallow sea called the Western Interior Seaway, which divided North America into two parts at that time. This sea was home to a rich marine fauna, including fish, sharks, turtles, snake-necked reptiles, seabirds, and marine reptiles, including giant marine reptiles like Mosasaurus and Prognathodon. It seems like a dangerous environment for Archelon, but they thrived and grew to enormous sizes thanks to the abundant food sources. According to paleontologist Samuel Wendell Williston, Archelon was a carnivorous species that spent much time in soft, muddy seabeds, eating bottom-dwelling animals like hard-shelled mollusks and crustaceans thanks to its specially structured beak. It could also target fish, small marine reptiles, squid, jellyfish, and even carcasses sinking to the seabed. The extinction of Archelon is also a topic of much discussion among paleontologists. Hypotheses have been proposed, such as the emergence of mammals that specialized in eating sea turtle eggs, the rise of more powerful predators, the decline in sea temperatures, or the gradual southward shift of the western interior seaway. Whatever the cause, Archelon left its mark in the history of life on Earth. Besides the five turtle species mentioned above, there are still other giant turtles, which may have lived alongside dinosaurs or not, such as Stipendemes, the largest freshwater turtle ever found, living about nine to seven million years ago. There may even be fossils of unknown giant turtles still waiting to be discovered underground. That concludes today's video. Our team sincerely thanks you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. For now, goodbye and see you in our next videos.